Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube channel Math1089. We usually send Diwali greetings to others. Have you ever thought about how a mathematician might wish happy Diwali to his or her friends? Here is an example. Consider the equation h by 3d into ddp of root a into p cube equal to l by w 0 to w ln 1 divided by e to the power of 2 root a w by y whole dw. Now so many letters are present here. Among them how many of them are constant and who all are variable we should know it. Here we consider a l w and y as constant. a l w and y are constant. Moreover we require the concepts of basic mathematics like fraction, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square root, inverse etc. We require the concept of logarithms we require the concept of derivative, integration and complex numbers also. If you can't follow the mathematical rigor present in this video, please watch till the end because I have a message for you that will appear at the end. With this notation, we can write that in the next line h by 3d into root a into ddp of p q because a is a constant so is root a so root a will come out from the differentiation sign so ddp of root a into p q is same as root a into ddp of p q to the right side equal to l by w 0 to w ln now 1 by e to the power of x is same as e to the power of minus x. It's the property of exponent. So we can write ln e to the power of minus 2 root a w by y into dw as usual. So here is the property ln 1 by x equal to ln x inverse x inverse x is e to the power of 2 root a w by y so the entire inverse of that. Now again in the next line we have h by 3d into root a now ddp of p cube is equal to 3p square right side l by w 0 to w integration now ln e to the power of x ln e to the power of x is same as x into ln e x into ln e and dw as usual what is the formula used here ln x to the power of m equal to m ln x ln x to the power of m equal to m ln x now proceeding further that is same as h by d into root a into p square equal to l by w minus 2 root a into y will come out as because a and y are constant so is root a and y and under the integration sign we have 0 to w w dw now that is same as h by d into root a into p square to the right side equal to l by w into minus 2 root a by y now what is the integration of w dw that is equal to half of w square and the limits are 0 to w. Hence we have h by d into root a into p square equal to l by w into minus 2 root a by y. If we put capital W and 0 respectively in place of a small w so we get half of w square minus 0 half of w square minus 0 after calculation we find that h by d into root a into p square 
equal to L by W. Now recall that in place of minus 1 we can write I square. In place of minus 1 we can write I square because the value of I square is equal to 1. So in place of minus 1 we will write I square into 2 root A by Y as usual and the other term is half of W square. Now in the right hand side 2 and half will get cancelled thereby giving us H by D into root A. Now in place of P square we can write P into P. To the right side L by W that is the W and to the extreme right half of W square 1 W from there will get cancelled and giving us L into I square. Now I square means I into I. 2 and 2 already get cancelled. So remaining root A by Y into W. Then next line if we transpose D to the right side and Y to the left side we get H into root A into P into P into Y and to the right side L into I into I into root A into W into D. Now we can see the presence of root A in the left hand side as well as in the right hand side. So there are two options for us. One option is to cancel root A from both the side. The other option is multiply both sides. Then in the left hand side root A into root A give us A only. To the right hand side also root A into root A gives us A only. Hence happy Diwali. Hence happy Diwali. This is the message for you from my side. Math 1089 wishing you a happy Diwali. Please subscribe to our channel Math 1089. Thank you for watching. Please share this.